Hello everybody, in this video I would like to talk about whether Blender which is a free and popular 3D modeling program can be used to create CAD models for mass manufacturing purposes such as product design. Actually my answer is uh, pretty straightforward that is that Blender cannot be directly used for such purposes. This is because uh, Blender is primarily a mesh based or polygon based modeler and mesh or polygon models are approximations of 3D forms. They are not accurate enough for the purpose of um, mass manufacturing. Okay. Okay. Um, what I did is I went to Google and did a search cat exchange format for manufacturing and let's uh, click on it click on the first result to see what's the uh, information being furnished okay as you can see over here it says that uh, the fat cat format for such purposes are uh, uh, usually a step or IGS file, file formats that means our step and IGS file formats are the standard format for exchange between CAD programs for the purpose of um, manufacturing okay and these are uh, formats they are able to read uh, NURBS information okay NURBS stand for non-uniform rational B spline okay so uh, let's uh, go to Google again type NURBS okay Okay, so NURBS is um, set for non-uniform rational B spline and they are basically created from uh, surfaces derived from very smooth uh, curves, okay? Unlike uh, meshes which are approximated forms of actual designs, okay? Okay, let's head over to Blender. Okay, if you are a Blender user, you might be aware that um, Blender indeed can create um, NURBS surfaces. Okay. However, these NURBS surfaces um, ultimately cannot export uh, NURBS based formats such as uh, STEM and IGS. Instead, they are always converted to mesh or polygons. Okay. Okay, let me just uh, show you an illustration. Okay, I'm going to press Shift A and add a NURBS circle. Okay, NURBS circle, and I'm going to create NURBS surface from it. Okay, so I'm going to press Tab to go into the edit mode, and then press E to do extrusion. Okay, can you see? Yeah. So now I'm like <coughs> extruding the the form. Okay. And let me change the the UV order from two to three. Okay, so it's a more smooth. Okay, this one. Okay, so uh, extrude. Okay, go change to three. Okay, so it's more smooth. And press the uh, E to extrude again. Okay, let's say I have this stuff and it's actually a NURB surface okay <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I uh, see whether I can export this somewhere else to, to see whether the file format are uh, supported once okay as you can see now if I go to file export right these are the file formats they are supported and unfortunately we are not able to see step or igs okay so apparently these are all mesh based uh, formats okay and let's just uh, use wavefront for uh, our uh, export okay and see what happens okay so i'm going to name this as a test okay 
okay I'm gonna export it and I'm gonna open it in Rhino okay so go to Rhino I'm gonna open it okay test OBJ okay uh, yes come in and let's do the shaded mode okay okay as you can see what we got is actually not very smooth okay you can see that uh, it's actually made up of a lot of flat polygons okay and that's the reason why um, blender cannot be used for design purposes for mesh uh, manufacturing okay because the the form that's eventually exported or created will not be smooth enough or accurate enough for uh, the manufacturing purposes <coughs> okay in fact you can type the what command to see the format of the geometry which is indeed okay mesh okay yep okay however um is a uh, blender entirely useless for mass manufacturing purposes i'll say not okay in fact um you can use blender to create a sub d pre sub sub d cage that can be brought into another cap package for conversion into nubs okay so uh in this case here i want to show the the process of creating the uh, sub d cage inside blender and then export it to rhino for conversion to nubs okay so uh, what i'm going to do is going to press shift a and add a mesh cube okay i'm going to tap into the edit mode okay and then i press the e key to do some extrusion Okay, if you were to go to the modifier, you could add a subdivision surface. We can see that we are able to get a sub D form. Okay, and if you were to click apply, what you get is a sub D form that is actually made out of a lot of flat surfaces. Okay, flat polygons. So again, it will be approximated. So um, what we're going to do is not to actually... Uh, click the apply to get the mesh format instead we should only export the the cage which is the the mesh itself okay so i'm going to click uh, uh delete the modifier and then export this okay so press tab to go into the object mode and go to file export as a obj again okay give it a new <coughs> format uh, give you a new founding contest too okay and let's uh head back to rhino and bring our stuff in okay so file open uh test tool okay so we get we got this stuff in okay and we can like uh convert this to to sub d by using the tool sub d command okay select the mesh okay delete input here so we got a sub d okay you can see it's actually a sub sub d and okay it's a sub d and then the the thing about cap packages is that the sub d is actually convertible to the nubs okay Whereas in the case of Blender, the sub D converts to mesh, because that's the main main difference. So from here in, in uh, Rhino, we can type to nerves to convert this uh, sub D to to nerves. Okay, so yeah, we got the nerves formatted one here, and uh, let me click the explode, and you can see that if I were to turn the control points on, yeah. It actually made out of uh, nerve surfaces that are smooth and accurate expressions of uh, 3D shapes. Okay, and this format 
this model can be exported to CAD exchange format such as the stack you can see stack and IGS okay yeah okay I think with that I come to the end of this uh, video hope that's been useful bye